Good afternoon and welcome to this, the first Yale International Alliance virtual lecture. My name is Mark Dahlhoff. I'm the Yale class of 77 and executive director of the Association of Yale Alumni. How thrilling this is to have an international audience to talk today what will be about our globalization efforts at the AYA. This is the first in a series of lectures to be launched by the Yale International Alliance, a new shared interest group of the AYA. On February 12th, our next lecture, you'll be able to have a conversation with the executive director of Doctors Without Borders, Mark Dubois, who is the class of 81 at Yale. But today I wanted to set the context for what this shared interest group is all about, and quite frankly, what we at the AYA are doing to complement Yale's globalization strategy. You know, in uh, the 1700s, three quarters of all Yale alumni came from Connecticut. In the 1800s, three quarters of all alumni came from New England. In the 1900s, three quarters came from the US. It begs the question in this century, what will our alumni, what will our student body look like? What does it mean to be a global university? Well, Yale has an internationalization strategic plan. I invite you to go to the Office of International Affairs to look more closely at what our objectives are in building out this global community. But I will also tell you, and I will direct my remarks today, to the AYA and its efforts at globalization. You'll find our complete strategic plan on the AYA website. This is actually our second strategic plan. It is called Ambassadors in Action. And that, in short, is what we are trying to accomplish, enabling all of you out there as alumni of this university to be the best ambassadors for this wonderful institution. A Yale president once said, you are to act not like inhabitants of a village, nor like beings of an hour, but like citizens of a world, and like candidates for a name that shall survive the conflagration. Uh, I, might have attributed these remarks to Peter Salovey, our current president, or even President Levin. Uh, but actually, these are the remarks of Timothy Dwight, the president of Yale from 1795 to 1817. Our global aspirations are as least as old as this university. It's only been in recent years, however, when we have had the resources and we've had the critical mass in alumni living abroad, that we can actually focus our attention on helping you to achieve what our international objectives might be. We are active in so many different eras uh, with our Yale Alumni Association. I'd like to recount a few of them for you now, and I hope you give us an ear as to how it is that you may wish to be involved, uh, but more precisely, what are the activities that we now offer where you can get engaged as an alum living abroad or somebody living here in the U.S. who has interests in pursuing our internationalization efforts at Yale as part of our alumni network. We've offered so many different opportunities for global education in the past few years. Our Yale Arab Alumni Association offered a conference, Urban Transformation in the Arab World, two years ago, which was held in Beirut, I believe it was. Um, last year, the Yale Club of Ghana, our newly formed Yale Club of Ghana, offered a conference on thought leaders in the African Renaissance. We have been present in China, in Singapore, in any number of other locations, trying to create educational opportunities for our alumni living abroad, as well as here in the U.S. We, of course, and many of you have had experience in working with our Yale Gale, G-A-L-E, which is an acronym for the Yale Global Alumni Leadership Exchange. This is a program where we put together delegations of Yale alumni, typically averaging 50 to 75 of their alumni family and friends, and we visit universities abroad to share best practices in alumni relations and development. Now, in these experiences where we sit down and work with other universities, there is considerable cultural exchange as well. And these become a great learning opportunity, not only for the universities that we visit, but for our participants as well. We began the Yale Gale journey five years ago with our inaugural trip to Australia National University. Since then, we've sent delegations to Japan, to China, to Turkey, to the UK, to Israel, to the Baltics, 
and this year to Germany, the Netherlands, and Switzerland. If you'd like to find out more about how to get involved with the Global Alumni Leadership Exchange, please visit our website at YaleGale.org. YaleGale.org. We would love to have you participate in any one of our foreign exchanges. And by the way, for those of you that are not prepared to travel abroad with us just quite yet, during our AYA assemblies, we now offer the opportunity for alumni to meet with universities who would choose to travel to visit us to benchmark best practices in alumni relations. So look for the next Yale Gale trip. Our Yale Alumni Service Corps, a program that began with one trip to the Dominican Republic five years ago, has now blossomed into a this year six event program. We will have delegations of alumni anywhere from 50 to 150 alumni visiting Africa, Yamaransa in the central region of Ghana, Kakalav, a, an Indian village near Jodhpur in India. Uh, we will visit El Trujillo, a village in Nicaragua, along with our School of Nursing uh, students. We will have three domestic sites teaming with College Summit in West Virginia, California, and New Haven. This has been an opportunity for our alumni who wish to give back, to travel abroad and invest themselves in meaningful work in economically uh, disadvantaged communities. Uh, it provides an opportunity for alumni to teach, to coach sports, to conduct medical clinics, to participate in construction projects, to do college mentoring, to do small business consulting. It's a wonderful way for alumni to share their gifts. I highly recommend that you visit our website, the Yale Alumni Service Corps.org. You can get to that through the AYA main website and take advantage of the many opportunities that we have for travel abroad. We have also not forgotten our Yale clubs and regional alumni associations. There are 187 Yale clubs in our network. About 140 are in the U.S. and about 40 abroad. Um, in the past, we've had challenges with critical mass, that is having enough alumni to form a meaningful ongoing organization in certain areas. But I can say with Yale's increasingly international student body, we have more and more alumni that are now uh, living abroad and wishing to engage in the traditional Yale Club activities. We just launched the Yale Club of Ghana uh, with this conference as I mentioned last year. They have many other uh, activities underway there including hosting our Yale Alumni Service Corps visit uh, this coming May with the Yale Concert Band. Uh, but I can also say that we have conducted leadership forums for our club officers and interested volunteers in London two years ago, last year in Paris as part of our Global Alumni Leadership Exchange, and this year we will be conducting a leadership conference in Rome, hosted by AYA board member Bill McGurn. Please look for that on our website. It's a wonderful opportunity to come together in what we think is going to be a uh, uh, large-scale event. We already have 30 or 40 alumni volunteers signed up to benchmark best practices among our international Yale clubs and regional alumni associations. Let me talk just a little bit about the Yale International Alliance and what it is that we uh, hope to accomplish. I'd like to give a shout out online here to Renata Cesar in London who has been one of the volunteers spearheading this effort and it's been her leadership and vision that has helped launch this new initiative. Our goals are evolving uh, but um, they are fourfold. First of all we'd like to increase the alumni involvement in our international uh, objectives um, and this also ties in directly with our second goal which would be to integrate students more fully in our international activities. You know we have an Office of Student Affairs, the International Students Organization on campus. 10% um, of Yale College students are now foreign students. Um, more than 25% of our graduate and professional school students are uh, international and so there is an increasing need, uh, need on campus to bring together alumni who are interested in supporting and fostering this network, um, supporting the international student experience as it were. Uh, we're looking to develop mentorship programs, lecturers, we're uh, looking to provide increased internships for our students. We are looking, and this would be our third goal, to enhance Yale's reputation abroad and 
Fourth, to look for more students, uh, to have our presence known in areas of the world where Yale is not necessarily a household name um, or provides a likely avenue for higher education. Uh, we would like to increase our visibility in these areas so that more students understand that they can apply for uh, a position, a student position at Yale. Um, and we'd also like to increase our yield. So those students that do apply and get in, we would like to make sure that they consider Yale their top choice. We can't do this without you, the alumni, getting engaged. We have limited resources in terms of staff. Um, our most precious resource, though, in this instance, is you, the alumni that would choose to get involved and say, I will step up and help make a difference in Yale's globalization efforts. So I've given you a fire hose treatment of all of the efforts that we are making here as part of the AYA on behalf of Yale's internationalization efforts. Um, I'd like to open this now to any questions, comments, thoughts, or observations that you might have uh, about our global efforts here as the AYA. Uh, you can chat, you can enter in any of your questions and comments, um, and I receive those up here online. I'm being ably assisted by uh, uh, one of our directors in our shared interest group, Mindy Marks, who's sitting by my side here. Uh, Mindy, do we have any incoming questions here? <clears throat> I understand we have a bit of a delay here in terms of getting your comments and questions to our site. I might also uh, point you in the direction I mentioned briefly at the outset of this broadcast that Yale has an Office of International Affairs. Um, this is not broadly known to Yale alumni. Uh, it's an office that was created in the past 10 or 15 years under the aegis of um, uh, Secretary at the time, Linda Lormer, and now Vice President for Global Strategies. Um, the Office of International Affairs is designed to actually uh, coordinate Yale's efforts abroad, to create new partnerships with academic institutions, to look for ways to support other governments, to uh, promote our Yale Fellows Program, to, as is our goal here, to enhance Yale's overall reputation and look for students and look for potential uh, development prospects for Yale's initiatives abroad too. Um, <clears throat> They have a new, uh, they have a website, a new internationalization plan. I will point you back again to that website for more information um, to see what it is that Yale is doing to create more excitement and uh, opportunities for our alumni abroad. I might just briefly mention that our upcoming Yale Gale trip uh, has a number of interesting facets. Uh, we will be visiting uh, in May, this is the middle part of May, uh, we will be visiting the alumni.com conference of German-speaking universities. We are being hosted by Göttingen. Um, it is an opportunity to speak to those universities in Germany that wish to uh, create their own international platforms and opportunities for engagement. We will be visiting Zurich ETH, the university that is part of the International Alliance of Research Universities, a network that Yale is a member of, which includes the universities of Oxford, Cambridge, Copenhagen, Zurich ETH, Singapore, Australian National University, University of Tokyo, and the University of Peking. Uh, from there we go to Amsterdam, where we are um, being hosted by the consulate and the U.S. Embassy. They are actually staging a conference for our alumni to uh, share best practices with other Dutch-speaking universities and NGOs. I think it's a great opportunity, quite frankly, with the embassy there that was started with our collaboration with the U.S. Embassy in Paris, which last year hosted a similar conference for French universities and NGOs uh, to talk about not only best practices in alumni relations, but also about volunteerism, about philanthropy, about those uh, philanthropic agendas that we have here in the United States that aren't yet nearly as fully developed among our uh, sister institutions in, in those countries. Uh, so I have one question here. What would be the ideal way to get busy international alumni involved? Well, I hope that uh, all of those opportunities I just took you through might be 
um, some ideas for you to get engaged. Look for this virtual network in the series and you will hear more about how to get involved if you wish to have some engagement with students. We haven't quite worked out yet the mentorship opportunities and what that might look like. Um, I would urge you, if you are living abroad, to consider coming to our leadership forum in Rome. Um, we are subsidizing this, uh, so we are making it affordable for many to come, even if you're not from Europe. Um, we will have a class leadership forum for all classes, uh, I'm sorry, all clubs, um, and their leadership in April in New Haven, if you're looking for an opportunity and not available to attend the one in Rome. Uh, we have had these forums in Asia. We conducted one in Beijing last year. Uh, we will be coming to an area near you in the upcoming years, not perhaps as frequently as you might like, but uh, don't wait on us. Get involved. If your alumni are not as active or engaged as you think they could be or should be, let us know. Uh, we would love to support you in your organizing efforts to create a Yale presence in whatever country you might live. Um, there's the Yale Gale, the Yale Alumni Service Corps. There is our day of service. Last year, around uh, the day in May that we select to be that um, opportunity for alumni engagement, this year it's May 10th, uh, we had last year 250 service sites around the globe giving alumni locally, even if they haven't had the opportunity to engage in club activities, to come and volunteer with a local NGO. Um, I should say, and I might go without mentioning, that our Yale Admissions Office has an extensive network of alumni who conduct interviews for Yale. If indeed there is not that opportunity in your area, but you think there should be, please go to the Yale Admissions website and find out how to become an active interviewer as part of the Alumni Schools Network, wherever it is that you live. Mindy, any other questions coming our way? Uh, a few more opportunities for engagement beyond those three, those four that I just mentioned. So it would be Yale Gale, the Alumni Service Corps, your local Yale clubs, the admissions committee, um, there, and the day of service, there is the Yale Alumni Chorus, an opportunity to travel abroad with alumni who to date have conducted 14 international concert tours. Um, not only is it an opportunity to sing if you do that, but we also arrange for uh, cultural exchanges in the countries that we visit, often oper uh, offering opportunities for local Yale clubs uh, to conduct benefit concerts or to conduct um, special receptions for alumni in the areas that we visit. Uh, you can look for more information about the Yale Alumni Chorus at their website, theyalealumnichorus.org. Looking for questions to connect. We have a count on the number of people that are tuning in. 48 people are so far involved. If you have a question, let me know. If you have an experience that you'd like to share with us, um, perhaps suggest an opportunity where we might get involved as an alumni association in your area. Let me know what that might be. And Renata, if you're listening in from London, uh, you might share your thoughts about the, uh, the plans for the, the Yale International Alliance and where it is that you think our volunteers might be willing to take this organization. I will also urge people to go back to our website, uh, the AYA, to revisit our strategic plan. Um, I hope you all realize by now, but it bears worth repeating, that uh, our job at the AYA is to enable you to make a difference. Um, most of, uh, nearly all the programs that you will see uh, having been started and launched by the AYA in the past five years are programs that you, the alumni, create. Uh, our job is to help you uh, with the logistics, with the kind of support, with the networking, with the communications that would help you accomplish your goals in whatever it is, the program, the initiative that you might launch. Um, of course, it bears greater collaboration, and we hope that we can work with you, plan and develop many of these initiatives, but we are very, very much interested in learning what you, especially you alumni that are interested in our internationalization efforts, are interested in getting engaged. Renata is one example of an alum living in London who said, I want to make a difference, I want to get involved, and maybe there's room for us 
to create an international alliance where we might directly support our students and aid our alumni in their organizing efforts. Uh, you know, I happen to forget uh, several of our other interest groups which are creating opportunities abroad for alumni engagement. Our Yale alumni in Hollywood uh, within the past year have launched conferences in London and in Hong Kong. Uh, they of course have had two conferences already in Los Angeles and one in New York. Um, it's an interesting opportunity to get alumni engaged abroad who would not travel to the U.S. for these programs, but where, in this case, Yale and Hollywood has significant influence abroad. I mentioned our Yale alum, our Arab Alumni Association. Uh, they will be having a leadership forum in Dubai this coming March. I look forward to meeting many of our Arab alumni there who are interested in building out that network. And anyone that would choose to get involved, anyone listening in the Middle East right now that would like to get uh, uh, engaged in some way, please let us know. Our Yale women, how have our Yale women been involved abroad, uh, Mindy? Ontario and Hong Kong and Beijing chapters. So uh, many of you may note that within the past year we have formed another shared identity group, Yale women. And I couldn't be more thrilled with their leadership, their mission, their sense of vision. We had a conference last uh, April in Washington, D.C., Vision, Values, and Voices. Well over 400 alumni, uh, women alumni, that is AE, in attendance. And uh, a significant initiative of theirs is to launch chapters regionally uh, around the world. Uh, we have about 40 chapters, I think, now, three of them abroad in Ontario. Where else, Mindy? Um, Ontario, Beijing, and Hong Kong. Ontario, Beijing, and Hong Kong. We look forward to developing these out in other areas around the world. If you are a Yale woman alum and you are interested in helping start a chapter, we want to hear from you. Don't wait on us. Uh, these chapters normally begin where there are interested and active alumni willing to engage. So uh, please, by all means, if you have an interest, this happens to be one of our fastest growing uh, shared interest groups, and it's a great opportunity for women to get engaged. Um, <clears throat> this past uh, Saturday, actually it was two Saturdays ago, uh, we staged a Yale Alumni Social Media Summit where we invited alumni who were particularly adept talented, engaged in the social media space to come and share their experiences. Um, you can uh, uh, find out more about what's happening in Yale's social media space by visiting the Office of Public Affairs and Communication, otherwise known as OPAC. We have any number of initiatives in Facebook, in Twitter, in Instagram, uh, you name it, we are looking to build out these networks and it is more organic than it is top down. That is, uh, we rely on the alumni out there who are using all these spaces to spread the word about Yale. Um, if you are interested in becoming involved, look for more information coming your way from our Office of Public Affairs and Communication. Um, Elizabeth Stauberman, the Executive Director, and Michael Morand, who's in, uh, responsible for the social media space, have done an outstanding job, an inspiring job, at bringing alumni and Yale uh, students, faculty, and administrators to the website and making known what it is they do through the social media space. It really is inspiring and I urge you to go there. Um, you'll find some information about this as well at the AYA site and as this further develops you'll find a lot of opportunities for alumni to get involved. Um, <clears throat> on Twitter you can go to at Yale-alumni to see what our alumni are doing around the world. What's that? Under oh, I'm sorry. It's uh, Twitter at Yale underscore alumni. Um, check it out. And by the way, tweet yourself. Tell us what you're doing abroad. Let other alumni know how it is that you're engaged. Let us know what your clubs are doing. Let us know what you're doing with the Yale Day service. Let us know if you're actually engaging with students, faculty, or administrators in uh, some creative and innovative way. I don't see any other questions, uh, any other comments, so I'd like to uh, bring this to a close with um, a thank you. Um, I appreciate all of those of you who have uh, tuned in to get involved here. Um, 
We appreciate your interest. We hope to grow out this network. Um, I think truly to understand what it is to be a global university is yet to be developed. Um, frankly, uh, we don't know what we don't know. Um, it's uh, an exercise in explore, exploring new frontiers, in searching in ways, uh, in getting alumni engaged that haven't been engaged before. Um, we're looking for you for ideas. Um, that's the bottom line. Um, the AYA exists to enable you to make a difference. Don't wait on us to develop programs for you. Tell us what it is that excites you. What are you passionate about? Why is it that you would choose to give back to this wonderful institution that has given us so many gifts? You know, I like to say that the AYA is not so much about programs or initiatives. It's not so much about a support network of classes, clubs, or shared interest groups. It is all about values. I like to say that an alumni association's purpose is to convey values from one generation to the next. What is it about Yale that you would choose to communicate to the rest of the world? It might be intellectual curiosity. It might be openness. It might be connectedness. It might be service. Uh, whatever it is that you find common ground in the values that express what Yale is all about, let us know what that might be. Visit our Yale International Alliance.wordpress.com website. You'll have further updates on that particular site and opportunities to get involved. That site again is Yale International Alliance, all one word, dot wordpress dot com. And again, thank you all. Hope to see you in New Haven. But if not, tell us why we should come and visit you. Do you want to answer one more question before you want to?